Welcome back to The Word. I'm your host, Taylor Nicholson, reporting for the Baker Orange. On this week's episode, we will give you a behind-the-scenes look at Baker's play, Our Town, introduce you to the best barber on campus, and give you an update on the Baker Orange News Rundown. Trey Ivey has quickly become one of the most notorious students at Baker, all due to his fresh cuts. Cooper Crockett sat down in the barber chair to put Trey's skills to the test. Trey Ivey is a freshman at Baker University. He wrestles, studies sports administration, and is a brother of Delta Tau Delta. But what some people don't know is that Trey is a certified barber. With over 50 clients at Baker alone, we were able to get in his book, sit down and talk, and even get a haircut. My name is Trey Ivey. I'm from Aid, Oklahoma. If you know where Oklahoma City is, it's about 30 minutes south of Oklahoma City. But uh, it's my hometown. Um, it started off uh, in my house. My mom let me use her kitchen. My dad has a little house on his land, and I kind of turned that into my own barber shop. And as I graduated high school, um, I got in contact with some barber shops for apprenticeships. And I got into a barber shop working for them. Um, so my cousin, he was big on barbery, so uh, he kind of showed me back when I was a little younger. And he's he's big right now. He travels around the world, cutting hair for verified Instagrammers and some uh, social media people. So back when I was in eighth grade, he kind of taught me how to do it because he was never around. He was the only person that cut my hair. My, well, my favorite haircut to do is a burst fade. And it's basically just a, a rounded fade down the side of the head. But here I do a lot of drop fades and then haircuts like I'm doing here with him, just pretty simple going to the top fades. I look at cutting hair, it's kind of impossible for it to be a long-term or a full-time job for a long period of time. So I want to get into like UFC, and that's what wrestling is. It, uh, it's a big aspect of it. So being in the UFC is a big, another dream of mine. I went to trade school my junior and senior year. My high school would pay for it. And uh, I did a class called cosmetology. And I got a cosmetologist license, but it wasn't what I needed to get into a barbershop, and I thought it was. So what I did is after I got my cosmetologist license, I went in for apprenticeships and uh, that barbershop that took me and I got in well over um, 80 hours of work that you need to obtain a license. So that's how I got my license. So yeah, I am certified as a barber. Um, I'm really just glad that they know that I'm a barber because clientele is huge for in the barber industry. So people, even with Yik Yak, like the anonymous people, them just knowing that I'm a barber here. Having people know that I'm a barber around here is actually nice. It's kind of comforting. Um, I do prefer men's hair, but I do, I do do women's hair. It's not, it's not like it's any different. It's kind of the same thing, just a longer strain. But cool. That's awesome. Just like that. Now let's get started with the Baker Orange News Rundown. There's lots of excitement through Baker Sports this week. Dance Team won regionals and the Heart of America Conference and will be competing at nationals in Michigan later this week. This will be Baker Dance's seventh consecutive appearance at the national championship. Tashanique Bell and Tavius Woodall are representing in three events at the NAIA Indoor Track and Field Championships this week. Nationals for track will be held inside the Sanford Jackrabbit Athletic Complex in Brookings, South Dakota. Wrestling also leaves for nationals this week. Both men and women's teams are sending five athletes each to compete in their national championship. In other news, Student Senate approved a new registered student organization on campus, Alpha Delta Kappa, proposed by Dr. Prosser in the Education Department. 
Alpha Delta Kappa historically has been an international organization for women in education and was founded in 1947 by three former Baker students. The Baker Theater Department is continuing their busy season with their play, Our Town. We caught up with the director of the play, Trevor Belt. Baker University Theater is putting on the production Our Town by Thornton Wilder. We caught up with director of theater, Trevor Belt, to get more information. Well, Our Town was first performed in 1938, um, so this is the 85th anniversary of the show. It's one of the most often performed plays in the country, in the world actually. If you averaged it out, there's always somewhere doing a production of Our Town every day of the year. So it's one of those that, one of those plays that is kind of a timeless classic. Everyone can still connect to it, even though it's about a city, town at the beginning of the turn of the 20th century. There's lots to pull away from it, even in contemporary life. And it's just one that I love, and I've loved it for 20 years, and this is my second production I've ever done. Well, this is my first year at Baker. Oh. So when I first got this job, I didn't know my students, so I didn't know who was available. And I wanted to do a classic and something large to provide a lot of opportunities, as well as a show that would provide an opportunity for the community to get involved as well. So I thought there wasn't a better choice than this play. Especially, it's one I love as well. There were some others that were kicking around in my brain, but I thought this would be a good play to introduce not only um, myself to, to Baldwin City and Baker University, but also provide opportunities for a lot of students and a lot of people. The play takes, over, takes place over a, a range of about 15 years, with the first act taking place in, in uh, just before the turn of the century, and then it moves into the early 1900s, and it essentially follows the story of George and Emily, who grew, grew up next to each other in a small town called Grover Corners, New Hampshire. So you see them when they're young, you see them fall in love. And then the third act, I don't want to give any spoilers, um, something uh, towards the end of life happens. So it's a three act play that essentially shows not only their journey together, but what their parents go through and what the town goes through as well um, at the turn of the century America. Well, it's, we're young, which is really exciting. Um, we have a few upperclassmen, uh, Olivia Harms, who plays Emily, she's a junior. But as far as the others, everyone else is either a sophomore or a freshman, which is really exciting because it means that the future of Baker Theater is really strong, and it will have a lot of actors and technicians again next year, and then again after that. Um, but what's interesting and fun about this production is we've hired in a professional actor to play the lead role of the stage manager. So we have a mix of different people in the cast. We have students that are freshmen and up. We have faculty members, myself and another faculty member included, community members, and a professional actor. So it's a kind of a hodgepodge of people, but it creates a really strong production. This production is not the traditional production of our town. Um, it's an exciting new way of telling it. So. Even if you know the play and are not a fan, I encourage you to come and experience it in a different way. We think we're telling it in a way to make it more accessible to modern audiences. It is a play that everyone can get something out of. Whether you are 11 years old, like uh, we have the young man in our cast, he's not even a teenager yet, up until you know, you're 100, there's something that you can pull away because the play is about life and those small moments and how important they are. So I think it's something that appeals to all audiences. You can watch the production Our Town March 2nd through 4th at 7.30 p.m. or March 5th at 2 p.m. in Rice Auditorium. Admission is free. Hey guys, it's Kyle Newman reporting for the Baker Orange. Today I'll be going around campus asking people what their plans are for spring break and what their ideal spring break would be if they could choose. Hi, what's your plans for spring break? I'm probably just going to go back home to KC and hang out with my friends. Um, not a whole lot. I live pretty close to town, so I'm probably going to um, spend time with family and uh, outdoors. Um, yeah, it's going to be a nice time of the year, so I like being outside.
Um, currently, nothing. So I think I'm just going to work, sadly, and I guess I can save my money. <laughs> uh, probably just work and make a bag because I'm broke. <laughs> I'm going to Mexico with my friends. Uh, probably just going home, hang out with the family. I'm going to Mexico with a couple of friends. Um, as of now, I'm going back home to Kansas City, Missouri and hanging out with my family. And what's your ideal spring break if you could do anything you wanted? Anything I wanted, I'd probably go to Italy. <laughs> cool, thanks. Yeah. Hmm, I'm probably go on vacation. Yeah. Like, just like, two-day trip, me and the boys go to Colorado and do some trout fishing, middle of the creek. I've been planning that for a while, looking forward to it, so. Cool, thanks. Yep. I would go to Greece. Greece. Oh, yeah. I would just lay out in the sun and bask in it. Thanks. Probably go to Florida, get on the beach. Cool, thanks. If I get any spring break? Yeah, I can do anything you want. I would go to Spain. Spain? Yeah. Cool, thanks. Sitting on a beach, uh, drinking something. I'm sipping on something. Cool, thanks. Probably traveling anywhere in Europe. Cool, thanks. And then if you have any spring break, what would you do? I'll probably go to somewhere South America. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. And that was an inside look on what Baker students are doing for spring break this year. This has been Kyle Newman reporting for the Baker Orange. Thanks for joining us on this episode of The Word. Remember to keep up to date with all things Baker Orange by following us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Baker Orange. See you in two weeks.